Hello, welcome to the information video about the Myco Ultra Swivel Bather. The Ultra Swivel Bather has an aluminium frame and base frame. It is width adjustable to suit baths from 26 to 30 inches wide, which is 66 to 76 centimetres. And it has a weight rating of 190 kilograms, which is 30 stone. The Ultra Swivel Bather has a locking lever out of the box. It comes on the right hand side, but it can also be easily changed to the left hand side and the swivel bay the locks at each of the 90 degree positions. I'm going to show you how to fit it correctly, make sure it's adjusted so it's going to suit your client, and just give you some tips and some information as we go along. Out of the box, the ultra swivel bay that is set up to be 26 inches wide. It can be adjusted in width to suit wider baths, up to 30 inches, simply by turning the grey end cap rubbers, and they will then screw outwards to accommodate the wider bath. This bath, I know it's not a permanently fixed bath and it's just pushed up against the wall, but ideally you want the, the rubbers on the far side to be hard against the wall and on this side you want them to come to the edge of the bath. It's worth noting that you will always need 30 millimetres or one and a quarter inches of the, the rubber resting on the rim of the bath to make it secure. If it's greater than that, that's fine. If you haven't got that much on the far side, because if people have tiled onto the wall, then maybe you need to consider something like the Myco wall bracket. But in this case, I'm going to adjust out these just so that it fits the bath a little bit better, simply by screwing these out. And on this side as well. And ideally, I like to have the rivets in a horizontal position so there's no chance of the rivet scratching the top of the bath surface. Once you've adjusted the frame to accommodate the bath width, the positioning screws, as we call them, they simply adjust out just so they touch the inside wall of the bath. And that just stops the base frame moving around on the bath at all, makes it more secure. It's worth mentioning at this point that the Ultra Swivel Bather has an aluminium frame for corrosion resistance and longevity. It also has an aluminium pin which is anodized. It doesn't need any lubrication. Uh, it will fit into the socket of the top frame and it will just allow it to swivel um, without any lubrication at all. If I now put the top frame in place, you'll see on the bottom of the top frame the locking lever is on the right hand side as standard. You can change the locking lever from the right hand side to the left hand side simply by removing this bolt, turning it around and replacing the bolt. For this purpose, I'm going to keep the locking lever on the right hand side. You can see the socket in the bottom here, and that simply slots over the pin and pushes down. You'll see that the seat is nice and clean and it's smooth, so it uh, allows water drainage. We have the drainage holes in the bottom, and we also have the slots in the back of the seat. Uh, it's always a consideration about holes in, in bathing equipment. And the requirement for the uh, MHRA is that the holes should be smaller than 8mm, which these are, so it's a compliant product. For your client to use the Ultra Swivel Bather, they will first need to turn it to the, so it faces the outside edge of the bath. If you just lift the locking lever slightly and swivel the seat, the locking lever will lock back into place. The client will turn around, they'll probably put their hands on the armrests and lower themselves onto the seat. And it's possible they might just shuffle back a little bit so they, they're back in the seat. From this position, they would need to lift the locking lever, or potentially a carer could help them, start to swivel, and then you can let go of the locking lever and it will stay up. They may have a rail at the side of the bath to help them swivel, or a carer may lift legs to help them swivel around the bath, but they would need to lift their legs over the side of the bath, and as they get to the forward position, the locking lever will lock automatically so that they can use an overbath shower or they can wash with a long handle sponge. When they want to come out of the bath again, you would need to lift the locking lever slightly to unlock it and turn it, and then lift the legs back over the side of the bath, rotate the swivel bather, and the locking lever will lock again when it's in the outward position. You can use the armrests to help push up from the side of the bath and get out again.